Welcome to the new journal of clinical psychopathy and convict criminology started by myself, Chuck, on this channel. First, an introduction to our disciplinary paradigm. Disclosures. We are not neurologists, medical professionals, and do not purport to be so. The position we take is a multidisciplinary generalist approach, and it takes an inspiration from a concept of convict criminology and a sub-narrative where basically it is encouraged for the persons who have experienced the criminal justice system to speak for themselves. And in like manner, so this is not a helicopter top-down paradigm. The purpose of this is almost self-serving. But basically, the scientific paradigm is enabling a psychopath to speak for themselves. The psychopath being me. But the paradigm is learning about clinical psychopathy through the words, through the thought stream of a psychopath, me, in which neurologists, psychiatrists, professionals, degree professionals can gain valuable insights. But we also don't want to, we also try to strike a multidisciplinary approach because we will, we independently self-study items such as phenomenon where uh, the different aspects of the brain, the hypothalamus, different lobes of the brain, taking a more of a mechanical, biological determinist approach. So we do have an evolutionary anthropological level interest and we do have some scientific underpinning, but our scientific underpinning is going to be foundational and subordinate to someone who, for example, who is a PhD in neurology, or a PhD in psychiatry. So, again, that is why we take our inspiration from the self-directed narrative as opposed to the practitioner that runs a, a study based on, for example, a cohort group of, a cohort group of people tracked over time, studied over time. Basically, these longitudinal cohort mass, these studies based on control, controlled science. So we do, we're, we're, we do insert ourselves in the, into the science, but the primary push is to basically give people an understanding of the psychopath's view of the world. And different psychopaths are going to have different views of the world. So with that in mind, uh, first note of interest of clinical, uh, moving away from psychopathy, is the interest of the brain mechanics. So basically, other studies have noted that where the corpus callosum connecting the two lobes are severed with minimal connections, possibly uh, experts can weigh in there or if there's any neural links through the brainstem even if the main bridge of the corpus callosum is severed. But basically, it has resulted in basically the creation of two minds, two persons within the same mind-brain. And there's there's a documentary that shows where basically there, there is a specific documentary, well, very well publicized, and we don't claim credit for that, that shows that a human brain, you can have, if the, if the brain is severed in two, what happens is you can simultaneously have an atheist and simultaneously have a theist. Now, this is probably um, it, probably religion agnostic. You can probably have the same result, whether you're talking about half the brain is a Christian, half the brain is atheist, half the brain is Islamic, half the brain is non-Islamic. Well, what, what if you have the bizarre, what, what happens if someone studies multiple religions and they have cognitive dissonance, for example, if they're if they're a Muslim in Iran, but they but they have cognitive dissonance because they studied not not uh, for example another religion like Christianity, what happens if half the brain is predominantly Christian and half the brain is predominantly Islamic? So so this so the scientific result where you have an atheist one half, a Christian one half, it begs the question of can you have a Christian one-half, Islamic one-half, 
what if, can you have a communist one half can you have a can you have a capitalist one half so what what if one half of the brain the left brain is a great stock market swinger but the right brain is a is a Karl Marx following communist so can, can you can you have a brain that you're you're half communist but half capitalist or can you have a brain where you're half fascist but half communist you see the psychopath thinks in terms of overturns you you can already tell this is going to be a very controversial journal going forward and why is it controversial first why can we be controversial first we don't have an employer we don't have a future employer we don't work we swing the stock market and documented in clinical psychopathy there's all these dsm five marks uh, our early history again we don't advocate violence we we ad don't advocate we advocate obedience to the law but academically so this whole thing is meant to be very educational very clinical very academic and if the authorities want documentation how can you purport to speak for something educational i have a diagnosis i have documentation in my cabinet that that speaks to my extreme form of antisocial personality disorder that is you know basically uh, clinically documented with you know the right medical notations the formal uh, you know medical doctor you know basically that basically it's it's like it's like highly notarized document of very official and again you don't let's a word of advice for normal people who need a job do not upload criminal certificates to youtube do not show expungement certificates for felonies do not upload do not talk about how you're a psychopath do not mention how you have a history of fe violent felony arrest if you need a job don't say that those things and i think anyone who is working a job or who needs a job or who has a criminal history will try to keep that silent um and i figure if um, you know basically if, if you become the three percent owner of the shares of alphabet you probably not, might not be too silent about that. Basically, if if you own Google, you can do whatever you want. Well, not not anything you want. There's even if you own the majority shares of Alphabet. Um, yeah, you yeah, doing whatever you want is limited by the fact that basically there would still be federal laws against even tech companies. So if you, t for example, if you took over YouTube. Uh, so, so you can't take it over directly basically it would be more like you own the majority of alphabet and then by default you own uh, branches of the company for example Google search engine you own YouTube the platform if you own that basically you would still be limited by US laws for, for example sanctions prohibiting certain transactions with foreign individuals and terrorist organizations so you couldn't set up you, uh, you probably wouldn't not be allowed to engage in commercial activities with the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea so uh, but if you're the one percent owner, you can probably you can probably say whatever the hell you want. If you're the not the one percent, if you're the majority owner, uh, legally, you know basically the way capitalism works. Once you're in control of company, for example, uh, you know Elon Musk on X, theoretically, um, unless you know basically only limited by law. If you're the owner, you can. It's probably limited by law. You probably still can't do that based on liability but theoretically if there's no law if musk wanted to he could upload isis taliban shit filth all he wants and you know not get terminated by a platform that that's how capitalism works if you if you if you own the company you can walk in covered literally in dog shit throw your dog shit shoes on the board on the board table of alphabet and and start directing the platform in a direction that you want to take okay so so now we want to get to the point of psychopathy so you have these societies you have these societies let's take florida for example there's a lot of florida is a poster child of insanity in my opinion and people see psychopaths as insane but we see normal society as insane you have basically these cultural spheres the way i as a psychopath see it i want the education i want the psychiatrist to understand my the way i view the world the way i see it as as a clinical psychopath is basically you have these cultural ideological spheres they live in they live in this existence of the ideological superstructure which includes religious communities and non-religious communities fighting about woke culture religion jesus ideology god no god woke non-woke when I, as a psychopath, only see 
what is material, what is historical, what is in front of me. All I see is swampland. All I see are coconut palms, swampland, alligators, crocodiles, and just the natural ecology. And I personally, as a psychopath, I can't wait for the environment to take over to both undermine shopping centers as well as religious organizations. Because I see, as a psychopath, my view is that human beings live in an artificial world that in which I don't belong and which are two worlds apart. You see, I'm an alien traveling, visiting these these puny little humans that live out their pathetic little ideological lives in their pathetic little ideological bubbles, uh, conceived in their cultural wars. One thinks they are saving their country. One thinks they're they're fighting for religion. The other thinks they're fighting for liberty and liberalism against the tyranny of religion. But all I see is literally the land itself. And this is why when I stick to mountains away from people, whether it's whether it's a religious Christian community whether whether it's some liberal group when i stay away from humans when when i physically segregate myself from humans i have this is educational i advocate obedience law i have less opportunities from experience less occasions where i punch somebody where i assault somebody where i batter somebody where i have the where i have a federal trooper called on me where i have where i have a state trooper where a local pd called on me uh, like i do uh, including the state of Florida, including the state of Hawaii, including um, including some uh, police interactions in Nevada, um, one of them recent, uh, and then and also a neighboring state. So there's a lot of police interactions. So um, this and that speaks to you know basically the long history that I have. But bas basically, the way I as a psychopath see the world is because I see the human beings as living out their lives in these ideological bubbles. Some conceive of themselves as faithful servants of Christianity, of Jesus. I don't, I not see, some see themselves as crusading for abortion rights. Some see themselves as crusading against, uh, basically, the governance of Ron DeSantis. The way I see it, I can't wait for nature to overtake all of you. I can't wait for nature to subvert all of you, whether religious, religion, I can't wait for nature, the climate, to subvert religion. I can't wait for nature and religion to subvert every form of these politics, whether left, right, north, and south. You see, the creatures I relate with are the crocodiles and the alligators. I don't relate to you pathetic little human beings. I don't have anything in common with you pathetic little human beings. And why can't I be an employee? Because the way I see it, this is educational. Again, nonviolence, nonviolence, where, 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 where we use allegorical terms to to in, to basically advance the thought concept. Okay. The normal non-psychopath will join a company. They will work. They see themselves as climbing the corporate ladder. A psychopath like me that swings the stock market even if they temporarily work for a company, basically, it's like, it's it basically, they don't, we are unhirable and we are not desirable because if somebody on board a psychopath like me, basically, they're, this is allegorical. We're not talking literally. It's like, it's like allegorically onboarding ISIS and the Taliban. And the reason why for that is we have a hostile takeover, again, uh, with, with the Wall Street term mentality, all we see, for example, if we were working for a company like Alphabet, would be like, it's a publicly traded company. So if I were to own just a mere 4% of the shares outright, I can do whatever I want, limited only by federal, state, legal restrictions. Correct? Correct. Legally, legally that is correct. Um, so basically, people like us don't work for people. We, we don't work hard. We think about how we can game the system, how we can... Not legal. We mean legally cheat the system, not illegally. As in, uh, commit. We don't. We don't rob. We don't commit fraud. We don't entice people. We don't fraudulently entice people. But basically, it's a mentality that is that is different. The mentality of me as a psychopath is fundamentally different than the mentality of ninety nine point nine 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 percent 
of pathetic humans which exist in the world and the, and the humans are working hard you see i'm a psychopath talking about how i'm a psychopath who does not work and well people can't even defend capitalism because their assets are going to an employer they're putting in their nine to five they're making earned income when i make no earned income and i don't get any support from the government because my cash flow from my psychopathic activity on the stock market more than overqualifies me for any government assistance in any way and manner. In fact, every year I end up giving, I end up financing the federal government, and part of my financing probably ends up in financing the liberal world order against my will and helping the, and against my will helping Ukraine against Russia. So that's all bullshit to me. And again, we will we will dive deep into the clinical psychopathy. So again. The, yeah, so basically, you know, the way I see it, if someone can't get employed or they get employed, but they constantly end up, they just end up fucking assaulting someone, uh, they get traffic stopped, they get fired, they, okay, and they have all this criminal history to hide, and how can I finagle that? How can I, how can I get a job every time it says, ha have I been convicted of a crime? Have I been, you can't, oh, what, are you, what about security clearance? Have I, have you been arrested? Some jobs want to know if you've been arrested. Even it doesn't matter if the record has been, certain security clearances will need you to reveal, even if you've been arrested, even if that's been expunged. So the way I see it is that maybe the clinical psychopath shouldn't be thinking, "Oh, how can I? How can I?" First of all, you don't want to do that. How can? But people shouldn't be thinking, "How can I illegally conceal?" How can I illegally conceal? How can I do, don't think, why, why illegally conceal? Maybe if you have serious felonies, you might have a hard time. Um, you might have some difficulty. There might be a way to get an SBA loan, but basically with some hoops attached, because you know, SBA loan may makes you attached to the government. So why do you want to do that, right? And, but basically maybe if you're a psychopath, maybe your destiny is just to be another stock swing trader. Maybe it's to play the stock market. You can't work. Maybe maybe you can't be onboarded because you're the Alec Oracle equivalent of the Taliban and nobody nobody wants to hire the Taliban in the United States and have them work for their fucking company. Okay? You know, allegorically. We're not at, we're, we're, we're talking allegorically. And, you know, we talked about that earlier. Basically, we're unhireable because basically, uh, you know, the, you know we, can't, we can't work for anybody. We can't... We, we can never be an employee. So even if we weren't good at the stock market, even if we had no, you know, basically competence in the stock market, no funds, no passive cash flow, uh, we would be scavenging under the bridge rather than working for someone because we're psychopaths. Okay, so, but, but what we want to do is we hope, this has gone on too long, but we hope that this, this academic journal that we are, you know, it's not formally patented, but basically when you put an idea out there, it kind of has that same effect. So welcome to the new journal of clinical psychopathy and convict criminology started by me, J. Chuck Vlogs, a psychopath. Thank you and good day.